in-person instruction. This is a decision parents in the Bentonville School District need to make for their children by tomorrow. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight at 10. I'm Chelsea Helms. And I'm Chad Mira. KNWA's Lauren Craycott tells us why parents say this decision has put them in a tough situation. Parents battling between blended and virtual learning. I didn't even put in my decision until last night because it was it was tough for us. Making the difficult decision on what's safer. I just feel that the sanitation is going to be a huge issue. And manageable for their children and family. It's hard to juggle work and trying to be there with your kids for your kids. On July 8th, parents with children in the Bentonville School District must submit their answer. Superintendent Debbie Jones says that's even before a decision on face masks being required is made. We still have a tremendous amount of work to do. I hope that the board votes to require mask wearing. Kelly Wilson has two kids in the district. She says regardless of what the board decides, she believes the best route for her children is learning in the classroom. I trust that they will only stay open if it is a safe environment for our kids. Julie Lawler has a daughter in the district. She felt with the limited information parents have at this point, virtual learning was the way to go. I feel that if you can balance those frustrations with the risk of your individual health and the individual health of your children, what is more important? Know what your options are. Weigh them out carefully. But no matter the decision, everyone wants the same thing. We don't know what this virus will bring but we do know that we can uh, pivot as we need to to continue to provide education for all the students in our area. Safety for all of those involved. Let's just let's just hold each other up and um, be there for our kids. In Bentonville, Lauren Craycall, KNWA Northwest Arkansas News. Only a few other schools in Northwest Arkansas and the River Valley have a deadline. Prairie Grove's deadline is set for July 14th, Fayetteville on the 19th, Rogers School District is July 20th, no deadline has been set for Springdale, Van Buren, or Fort Smith. A lot of good info there. I'm continuing our